Hello and welcome back to CSS Flexbox Essentials. In this lesson, we're going to discuss what Flexbox is. Now at its core, Flexbox is simply a CSS layout model that allows you to very easily lay out your content without having to rely on floats and without having to rely on inline block elements. And we'll discover as we move forward that we can very easily lay out rows and columns using Flexbox that are automatically responsive, that automatically respond whenever we change the size of the browser. And as its name implies, the Flexbox model is very flexible. And it's also very, very easy to use. Another huge advantage of the Flexbox model is it allows us to very easily rearrange our content depending on our browser size. So if we change our browser to a smaller size, we can very easily rearrange the order of our content using the Flexbox model. Now, when you're dealing with HTML and CSS specifications, there's really no better place to go to see what's available than the W3C website, which you can find at w3.org. And here I have the Flexbox model page pulled up on the W3 website. And, and this is where you can find all of the specifications for the Flexbox model. And as you can imagine, Flexbox is short for flexible box. And uh, it, it is just what it sounds like. It's a layout model that allows us to create a flexible grid system that we can very easily customize using just a few simple CSS properties and values. So on the W3 site, we can scroll down and we can see a little bit of a definition of what the Flexbox model is. We can see the status, uh, the current working status of the Flexbox model. And then we can click through to see everything that the Flexbox model offers for us. Now, one of the major considerations when we're dealing with the Flexbox model is the browser compatibility. Where are we right now as far as browser compatibility is concerned? Well, if we jump to another website, the caniuse.com website, and go to caniuse.com forward slash Flexbox, we can see a chart that shows us what browsers the Flexbox model is compatible with. And as we can see in the legend up here, we can see a color-coded guide that lets us know what is su currently supported. So the light green color means it's supported, red means not supported, the dark green means partially supported, and gray means support unknown. So we won't see any gray here in this particular box. Uh, but as we look through this chart, we can see that all the major browsers, all the current versions of major browsers do support the Flexbox model. Some of them do require a prefix, such as the WebKit prefix, as we see here. But it is fully supported across the major browsers. Now we see here, as we scroll back up, the Opera Mini browser doesn't support the Flexbox model, uh, but that's probably okay. We probably don't have too many users uh, that are going to be using the Opera Mini browser. You probably don't have too many users using the Opera browser either. So all we're really concerned about is maybe the, the four major browsers here, as well as some of the major uh, mobile browsers, such as Android browser, BlackBerry, Opera Mobile, uh, maybe not even Opera Mobile, but Chrome for Android, Firefox for Android, etc. But again, as we can see, all of the current versions of the major browsers anyway, fully support the Flexbox model. Now, when you're dealing with IE, for example, uh, you don't have to go very far to start seeing a lack of support there. So even in version 10, it's only partially supported, and even that partial support requires this MS prefix. And anything before that isn't supported at all in Internet Explorer. So when we're dealing with the Flexbox model, we're probably not to the point yet where we can fully rely on it when we're developing websites. However, it would greatly behoove you to learn the Flexbox model and to start getting used to those Flex properties so that once these browsers really start to accept and once some of these older browsers start to get phased out, we'll really be able to use this Flexbox model to create some really flexible and easy to lay out websites. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.